but just what is a clicker? Clickers are basically a real-time poll of your class. Let's give you a brief snapshot of how it's run. Several times in each lecture, the instructor pauses and asks the class a challenging question on the material. I think the greatest challenge for the instructor is to write meaningful questions. If the hamstring muscle is stretched, what do you think would be the effect of reciprocal inhibition? So up till now, we've talked about the stretch reflex in the, uh, starting in the quadriceps. This is now about the hamstring. Well-formulated clicker question should make you think and it should make you address the concept at hand but it shouldn't be too tedious or laughably simple because that's just a waste of time. Students chat with their neighbors for a few minutes to help them figure out the answer. I think I learn better when I talk to other people around me. There's something about debating and in a sense teaching other people when you think you've got the right answer or learning from other people when they've got the right answer that's really helpful in that learning process. Students are learning more and more deeply when they're figuring things out for themselves. Then if it was at the end of the molecule, you needed to do a workup with water because it'd be a salt. Oh, right, but we're not going to do but that. But it's in the middle, middle, so it's not going to be an Okay. So D looks like the best answer. You can do the Why? same thing with a cloud of gas. You can measure the Doppler shift of that. What is M2? Can you... What, what mass is M2 measured? The YLM formula is um, slightly complicated in general. Um, unless you tell me a specific one, I can't really, you know, it's a Legendre polynomial of cosine theta times E to the IM5. So you're saying that the gravity Okay, will you take pull about 15-20 seconds to click in your answer, please. That sounds legit to me. All right. And then they click in with their choice. Instructors can get a record of every student's answer. A real-time histogram is created, showing the class response as a whole. So there's a pretty strong agreement on um, E, none of the above, but I got some Bs and Cs. Um, B is very tempting. Okay, so Max said he narrowed it down to B or D um, because he knew that when you stretch the hamstring, you'll want to functionally... The instructor discusses the question with the class and moves on from there. Way and hit. What if they're spinning opposite ways and hit? I'll tell you. I think the more a teacher will uh, facilitate conversation after the clicker question has ended, the more effective it is. 